What's up, travelers? It's Alyssa from Means to Travel, and today I'm here with my friend Mark from Walter's World. Hello. And we today are going to be talking about our tips for visiting Chicago with kids and teenagers. And the reason why Mark's here is because he has those. <laughs> yes, and we've taken them to Chicago many times, and there's a lot of great things to do and see when you are here. But there's a lot of things that parents need to think about when they are going to come with kids. And one of the most popular things for kids to do is go to the the zoo. So there's multiple zoos in Chicago. Um, the one downtown is the Lincoln Park Zoo, and that one's actually free. It is smaller, and there's a very large zoo out in the Chicago suburbs. It's called the Brookfield Zoo. It's in Brookfield, Illinois. Um, that one's really exceptional as well. Yeah, and if you don't want to do the zoo with your kids, you want to stay more in the, the cultural museums kind of stuff, there's a lot of great museums around Chicago that you can visit. But the big ones for kids that we've taken our kids to throughout the years, and they've really loved, one, you go to the Museum of Science and Industry. Like the kids have hands-on exhibits about science and industry, of course, but it's a fantastic place to go to really get their minds going. Yeah, actually growing up here in the Chicago suburbs, I was able to do a lot of field trips to the Museum of Science and Industry. So yeah. it's very fun. Yeah, another place, these two, there's two more places I wanna talk about that are right next to each other. You have the Shedd Aquarium and the Field Museum. The Field Museum is a natural history museum. So you have all the- you, you, There's a big dinosaur when you walk in. Yes, <laughs> and they have the lions, their stuff. They have all kinds of things to see but it's a really great educational experience because yeah. they do a great job of helping kids learn so there's lots of stuff any of the big museums you do go here in chicago they're going to have stuff for kids so just ask hey do you have a kids packet or or they sometimes have those like searching things you know the, the scavenger hunts yeah the shed aquarium is really great too for kids um there's a an oceanarium inside of the shed aquarium that they have like a dolphin show they have otters they have beluga whales um so i've been going there since i was a kid myself and it's really, really fun. Yeah. And, and the thing is, is there's the museums, but also don't forget just walking the, the Magnificent Mile, right? Yes. Like you go up there at Water Tower Place, the, the Lego store, the American Girl doll, there, there's fun things there. But totally. we've got to feed the kids, right? <laughs> we definitely have to feed the kids. And a lot of people who visit Chicago, whether they have kids or not, are going to be going for the Chicago style pizza. But mm -hmm. there's a few things to keep in mind if you're going to have kids along with you for that. And one of the biggest things is the actual size of the pizza. If you're used to ordering Domino's or Papa John's, or from home at home it's not like that chicago style pizza is very very thick it has lots of toppings it's and basically it, a pie yes it's <laughs> like a cake it's like a huge contraption of pizza yes <laughs> and, and if you're going to take your kids your kids are not going to eat more than one piece i mean even me a big guy like me i can barely put down two pieces without feeling like i'm going to explode okay I eat so one piece <laughs> yeah and, and another thing is important since that pie is so thick it does take a long time to cook so if you got little ones, don't go in hungry because cranky or hangry kids will be super hangry after the 45 minute to hour long wait to get your pizza. So just have a heads up for that. On top of that, a lot of the places that are popular with tourists don't take reservations too. So you might be waiting in line for a little bit and then you have to wait for your pizza on top of it. So plan that out if you're bringing your kids. So to help them get through the wait of getting to the pizza, there's a snack you can grab along the way, and that's Garrett's Popcorn, which is a popular popcorn, like gourmet popcorn shop here in Chicago. Yeah, it's and been around since 1949. They have caramel, they have butter, they have so many cheese popcorns. That's and the name. Chicago mix, which is caramel and cheese together, which sounds weird, but it's fantastic. <laughs> it really is. It's like strangely satisfying. Yes. Um, there's also tons of donut shops all over the city too. So, um, and there's like those big round cake donuts that have the icing on top that kids are just like, oh my gosh, I get to eat one of these. <laughs> yeah, so sugar highs will be common when yes. you are here. But there is one thing, it's like, I think of the colorfulness of those donuts, but mm -hmm. I also think of the colorfulness of the Chicago hot dog. And a lot of people when they come, you know, kids love hot dogs. So you yeah. think, oh, I'll get my kid a Chicago hot dog. I gotta tell you, I would not recommend getting a Chicago hot dog for your kids because yeah. it's got a lot going on. There's tomatoes, there's pickles, there's like little peppers, there's relish, sweet relish that's in there, mustard, and a poppy seed bun. And if your kid is like, I like a hot dog, which is ketchup, that, that's not a Chicago dog. Okay, yeah. just give them a normal hot dog. Cause I can see, and I've seen kids that are like, ew, what's this? And they're rubbing the poppy seeds off of the stuff. Right, so. so if you're going to somewhere like Portillo's because it's the place to go when you're in Chicago, you know, <laughs> um, 
Maybe get them a burger with the cake shake. <laughs> the cake shake yes. is so good. <laughs> yes, the cake shake, that's the bomb. That's the bomb to do, yes. Yeah. Kids will love that. And you might get to steal, you know, steal a drink or two when you're there. Um, please do. <laughs> yes. So what, what are some outdoor things we can do with our kids when we're here? All right, so the number one thing that I recommend for families to do is go to the beach if it's nice weather. Um, the, there's There are beaches, first of all, in Chicago, <laughs> um, which I know surprises certain people. Um, but we are on the Big Lake, Michigan, and there are free public beaches that you can visit and it's really cool to go see the lake from the beaches and also there's like activities to do at the beach too there's volleyball courts um and there's lifeguards on duty in the summertime so go check that out um because it's a really cool day out with the family yeah, and if you want to do something more kind of structured, there's tons of sporting events around here. I mean, Chicago's the second city. I mean, it's a huge city. It's got it's got NBA. You got you can go see the Bulls. You can go see the Bears. You can go for for football. You can go see the the Chicago Fire for soccer. You can go to a Cubs game. Wrigley, at Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field. I, mean, you can <laughs> I used go to, to live in Wrigleyville. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can go to Comiskey for a White Sox game, but uh, we're going to Wrigley. That's that's how we roll here. But honestly, there's so many sporting events you can go see with your kids, and they're they're relatively family friendly too, which is really nice. Totally. So you can do that but if you don't want to spend the money there's also some really great parks around here too yes so the big one that we highly recommend especially if you're staying downtown is going to millennium park um there's a lot of really cool like playgrounds there there's mm -hmm. Um, these fountains that have like faces on they them. They spit out and the kids just find that hilarious. They yeah. run underneath them, yeah. <laughs> um, but there's parks all over the city. So just in the neighborhood that we're in right now, which is Bucktown, um, there's the 606 trail. That's like a walking trail that you can walk with your kids and your family up and down. And there's also like the Holstein Park, there's Wicker Park, um, and just like every neighborhood has a park. Yeah, <laughs> and, it's not, and the neighborhoods are all different around. So if you want yeah. to show your kids different neighborhoods, you can go to different neighborhoods and get a different feel. Exactly. And also saving money because there's not a lot of stuff going on at night downtown. Right. You might want to stay in one of the neighborhoods so you have more restaurants in the evening, place to go walk around. So that could be something some nice too. Absolutely. And then of course, like if you come to a big city, sometimes you got teenagers. One of the things they love is amusement parks. You got Great America or Six Flags Great America up in Gurney. You can go up there, but there's all kinds of the other, you know, touristy kind of things like your rainforest cafes in medieval times. But there's a lot of really great things to do with your kids when you're in Chicago. So even though not everyone that comes here has kids, if you do bring your kids, you can have fun. Absolutely. So thank you so much, Mark, for okay. helping us out here. Um, we'll but... give you the kids if you want. You can, you can <laughs> want to try them out for a while. It's totally fine. <laughs> he has some really cute kids. They're, they're really um, just joys to be around. Um, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And also just want to say thanks again to Mark for joining us. Why don't you share with the audience um, where they can find you and all of your videos that you do sure. about family travel. Yeah, so if you want to learn from us uh, about travel, just go to Walter's World on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. We're on all the social medias of Walter's World. Yep. And uh, my wife has a channel that helps out people as well, traveling with kids. So there's all kinds of great stuff. So find Jocelyn out there as well. So uh, I'm sure you'll be wonderful. I'll put the links down below. So Absolutely we'll have that. will do. Also, if we missed anything, please feel free to put your notes in the comment section down below so we can all learn from each other in this community. Thanks so much for watching and cheers. Happy travels. Bye. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.